Hi, my name's Clive and welcome to Discus Fish at Waratah Lodge. In this video today I want to talk to you about uh, Senai, which is a tank monitoring system. There are uh, three models, the home, the pond and the reef, and uh, they do exactly what they say. The home one is for ordinary type fish, the pond is for your pond, and your reef is for your reef. I use uh, five of the home models uh, from a discus. You can see these, uh, a picture of this photograph in the box above, absolutely brand spanking new, £69.98, comes with one slide to get you started. Uh, it then needs a new slide put in every 30 days. Now the cost of running this is 20 pence a day. So um, the slide is already pre-calibrated, so you should get pretty well exact readings, but if they're a tad out for any reason, you can fine tune these uh, readings yourself uh, on, on your uh, dashboard. This picture now shows um, the one on my large tank and um, you'll notice that there's a light on. Uh, this is actually a pH light. Now the reason this is on and stays on at the moment is because the guys uh, who designed the uh, Senai in the first place were actually uh, fish enthusiasts themselves, but um, they didn't actually allow for discus keepers that um, would like to keep the pH down to 6.2 to 6.4. They're now making a software uh, modification to sort this out. Um, the unit comes via USB um, and you can plug it either directly into a PC or laptop or if it's out of the way um, you can use a Belkin wireless uh, router and this will take up to four units. Even though this uh, light on may seem a problem, it's not really because um, if the light goes off, you know your pH is too high, so uh, you get an alert anyway. This picture now shows your uh, local dashboard. That's the one on your laptop or your PC that it's connected into at home. Um, it shows your uh, um, temperature, ammonia and pH on there. And uh, in the bottom right hand corner you can see a padlock. Um, if you click that padlock and open it, it allows you to fine tune, um, so say this is showing your temperature is uh, 80, 86, if you checked it with a very good thermometer and found it to be 85, you can actually minus it by one. So you can do that with all those parameters, you can just uh, fine tune them, which is uh, pretty useful. And in a screen behind this, it actually shows um, how long during the day the light has been on and how much light there's been. So that's, uh, that's your home screen, that's pretty useful. Okay, this uh, screen here is what you'll see when you log on to um, Senai on the uh, web. And it's the first page that comes up. Um, as you can see, um, it's showing five different modules there. That's the five different units that I've got. Um, and it also um, allows you to see at a glance all of them in one go. Although you can go into them individually and the next picture I put up will in fact show that. So it's uh, at a glance view. If you've got something up the top, you see there where there's one with a red warning, you know to uh, check it out, there's something actually wrong. So. Uh, that's a nice screen as well, and um, as I said, gives you all of a, all, all all the uh, units all in one glance. Okay, this picture now. This is um, an individual unit which you've um, selected on from the last uh, dashboard page, as they call it. So this will just now show one unit. Um, it shows it in graph view. It also it show it in a numerical list. And it's here that you actually set your parameters. So in the case of your temperature, if you want to change your temperature, um, you simply uh, go in and the, the two red, say the two red lines that you can see on each, they are your top and bottom limits. Uh, you can raise or lower these. And <clears throat> what this does is if the blue line in the middle, uh, that's your actual readings, if the blue line should go outside either above or below the red lines that you've set, um, it will trigger uh, an email to your uh, PC and it will also email um, a text to your phone, it will send a text to your phone. So Senai basically doesn't go to sleep. Um, you go out for the day, go to work, go to bed at night, go to sleep. 
wherever you are, um, Senai is going to ring your phone anyway. So um, you're the first to know. It checks the uh, readings on the tank every 30 minutes and uploads them to this site. So um, not too much can happen in 30 minutes. If your tank is completely broken and all the water's fallen out, well, that's one of those things. But at least you'll still know. It will tell you there's something wrong. But uh, hopefully you're not unlucky enough to have that. But usually it's, it's small things. Temperature rises, you've left the heating too high. I don't know, a thermostat's gone wrong. You've left the light on and you didn't intend to. Um, you haven't checked the pH for a few days or whatever um, and again there's the quick view box for it in its own quick view box in the top left hand corner and also here you can actually see the uh, light what's happening with the light so um, it's a lovely unit um, nothing comes from nothing and um, it's okay it's going to cost you 20 pence a day but um, it's it saved my bacon several times and um, I'm not on commission, trust me, I wish I was. Uh, the guys at Senai are very, very helpful. If you have a problem there, you just ring them up. They do answer the phone. Um, you're not talking to a, an overseas uh, guy, an account manager or something. You're talking to someone actually in an office here um, who understands what he's talking about and is only too pleased to help you. So there you go. Um, that's a little bit about the Senai. Um, I thoroughly recommend it. If you've got to say a tank of uh, six small discus, I don't know, a couple of inches, what do they cost you? 40 pounds each, that's 240 pounds worth of fish. Um, if you've got 10 fish in there and they're something like th uh, four, five, six inches and there's 10 of them, uh, you, you know, you're, you're looking at a lot of money. So 20 pence a day really is nothing to protect your. Uh, to protect the little guys so there you go leave it with you hope you found something in here useful um look forward to seeing you soon don't forget to subscribe loads more coming